Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to round fractions to either 0 or 1. And we have four examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. Now, all the fractions we're going to be working with are between 0 and 1, so they're not quite a whole. Um, so again, rounding to either 0 or 1. Now, when we round these fractions, essentially what we're doing, we're seeing are these fractions closer to 0 or are they closer to 1? So let's jump into number one where we have three-fourths. Now the most important part of this video is this hint up here. If a fraction is greater or equal to a half, it rounds up to one. If it's less than a half, it will round to zero. So think about what's half of four. How many fourths? Well, two-fourths is half. So if we have three-fourths, that's greater than a half, and three-fourths is closer or would round to one whole. Now this symbol here uh, means approximately or close to, and we can use it, it's helpful when rounding, so we don't have to put an equal sign. For example, if we put this, three-fourths is equal to one, that's not correct. Three-fourths is not equal to one, but it is close to or rounds to one. So let's go to number two. So we have four-tenths. So we need to think, is that greater than a half? equal to a half or less than a half. Well, we know half of 10 would be 5 tenths, so we have 4 tenths, so that's less than half. So we would round to 0. 4 tenths is closer to 0 than it is to 1 whole. Number 3, 7 seventeenths. So here we have an odd number uh, denominator, so we need to think about what half of 17 is, and then is this number greater than that half or less than, or maybe equal to. So half of 17 is 8 and a half. So let's take a look at our numerator 7. Is that greater or less than 8 and a half? Well, it's less than. So 7 seventeenths rounds to 0. It's closer to 0 than it is to 1 whole. And number 4, we have 3 sixths. And that's actually equal to, to a half. So if you ever have a fraction equal to a half, it rounds up to the next whole number, or in this case, we are between zero and one. So this rounds to one. So there you have it. There's how you round fractions to either zero or one. And again, we worked with all fractions that were between zero and one. Um, so I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.